Radio control drones are extremely popular and you can get them in all shapes and sizes. And today we'll show you that 3D printers and drones are a perfect match. 3D printed drones are light, agile, fast, customizable and above all easy to fix. The props and electronic components are well covered, so when you crash, you will usually need only some extra 3D printed parts, and you can easily print plenty of them. Also, drones in stores seem to be cheap, but the important equipment is often missing, like the RC transmitter, so the price is usually much higher than what you can see at first. So let's print and build a small 90mm drone that fits in your palm, but it's powered by a 2-cell LiPo battery, so it has a nice kick and can be unbelievably fast. Equipped with FPV camera and Racer Star 1103 motors, this little beast is suitable for both indoor and outdoor flying. Plus, with all important accessories included, we'll squeeze the cost just under 160 bucks. We have selected a reasonably priced setup, however there are tons of different brands and parts, so feel free to pick a different configuration, but keep in mind weight and dimensions. FPV is optional and you can buy it later if you want. So let's start with the frame. It's our own design and we printed it on the original Prusa MK3 with PLA Prusament. It takes less than 3 hours to print everything and the assembly is super quick. Take four short pieces of filament and insert them into four holes in the lower body. The ESC board has three soldering pads for each of the motors. You can solder the wires in any order you want because we can invert the motor rotation with a software tool. Then solder the JST connector for the battery. Place the ESC onto the printed frame. The arrow points towards the front of the drone. Wrap the motor wires around each of the arms and secure the motor with four screws. Now, before you connect the flight board to the ESCs, add four small spacers. Keep in mind that the header has to meet the pins. Also, double check the directional arrow. It's time to add the camera. Our camera has four wires, 5 volt input, ground, video in and video out. Check the instructions for your camera to learn which cable is which and solder them onto the flight board. Now let's move on to the RC receiver. Take a 3 wire cable and solder it to the receiver pins according to the manual. Locate the RC input pads on the flight board and solder red, black and yellow wires from the RC receiver. Use a zip tie to fix the receiver in place. To bind the drone, press and hold the binding button on the receiver and connect the battery. Then enter the binding mode on your RC transmitter. When the light turns solid, it means the binding was successful. Now we can finish the frame. First attach the camera holder to the top body with a zip tie. Carefully push the camera through the center hole and insert it into the camera holder. Take two zip ties and push them through the lower and upper body, but don't tighten them completely yet. First add the battery holder, make sure everything sits in the right place and then tighten the zip ties. If you want, you can secure the battery with a sticky velcro or you can use a different method of your choice. The last part is about configuring the software. Connect the drone to your PC with a micro USB cable, then download Betafly tool from GitHub and run it. First, place the drone on a leveled surface and calibrate the accelerometer. Then go to Configuration and change the ESC protocol. In our case, it's DSHOT 600. Next, set the receiver mode to Serial and the provider to SBUS or IBUS. 
Now we need to enable the receiver port, it's usually a UART1. After saving the values, the transmitter should now communicate. We will use the three position AUX1 switch to set up arming and flight mode switching. However, you can set arming to one switch and flight mode switching to another one, the choice is yours. Now we have to make sure the motors rotate in the right direction, two clockwise and two counterclockwise. If any of the motors spin the wrong way, download the BL Heli config app. Open the app, read the values and change the direction of the selected motor. Don't forget to save the values and then run the motor config again. And finally attach the props. There are two different kinds, clockwise and counterclockwise props. Install them in the correct order and you're all set up. Happy flying!